35. So, here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we left off, we did a paralogue, and we're going to do a quest to finish off the week. And I also did not bother checking what to do. Well, in that case, uh, we will rescue no one. We will rescue... Actually, I can move one square up. Not attack. Actually, if you did attack, could you... Oh, you theoretically could. Okay. Well, that's not my goal right now. My goal is to get Ash up. Take Ash off to the side. And then strike. 12, 11% shot to crit, and he gets the crit. That's our boy. Uh, we'll put Marianne a little bit of risky business right now, but I'm gonna make up for that later. Level 17 for Marianne. And not a good level up, not even remotely. We'll fire up Felix and make him send up. We'll bring Ingrid up to play complete defense. I'll cut through. We'll bring Dimitri up to play defense. Stay focused. Byleth is just gonna roam around the battlefield for a bit. I'm on it. Sylvain is gonna come up and just collect stuff. Here goes. And that's gonna do very much the same. Here we go. Thank you. Present. Oh. There goes the first one turn, and second turn. Oh well. Oh right, because Ingrid has the bow. I'm like, why didn't she follow up? It's like, oh, because she's got the bow equipped, which I should have swapped out. Oh well. Uh, in that regard, let's have attack, and let's use Blizzard. Good thing that hit. We'll also have Flame come up and attack with fire. My brother will be pleased. Level 18 for Flame, and that's a bit not a good level up. Have Ash come off to the side and snipe this guy. That's fine. Have Ingrid attack with the Lance, please. Seems I prevailed. Eh, Ingrid, it's gonna be really hard for you not to prevail. We'll send Ingrid up because oh, there's a bow guy. Uh, we'll just bring her up right about there to get aggro. Byleth, you're gonna find a training bow. Dimitri, you're just gonna go boop. Boopity loop. Over already. He did the sloop, and he got some boops. That's uh, gonna hit. Actually, uh, if I could learn, there we go. That works for me. Feel it's gonna work. It's, blah, blah, it's gonna come over here and use. Actually, well, can Marianne and him share support? Nope. I know Flane and him can share support, but Flane's very not too far. Oh well. Kaboom. And that, you're not gonna really do. Actually, and it's a waste of a thing, but I'm gonna do this. Just because Sylvain and Annette have a relationship. And then, reset is you can just do whatever the hell you wanna do. Okay, Sylvain, you are going to, uh, actually, yeah, let's put you in super risky business right here. I'm curious if Sylvain will actually survive being a promoted unit. Oh, he, oh, wow, he's going to definitely survive. He's going to be gaining so much EXP. Way to go! That's not great, but way to go. Oh no. Oh no. That one is 
I did a bad thing. <laughs> I did a really bad thing. <laughs> Whoops. Just give up. I forgot that he's like super powerful. I like how this feels. There you go, Sylvain. You're gonna be like the highest level character in the game. Oh, I might not want to put Sylvain in a situation like this again for a bit. That one is suspected. At least he's gained the support that he needs. I gave him too much freedom. Oh, I gave him way too much freedom. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! You're out of luck. Oh look at that! Less city to leveled up again. My efforts are paying off. Not very well though. Oh, that's gonna sting. Yay, hurt him! I want you to hurt him! Stay focused. It's not because I'm mean, I just actively need him to be hurt. Bye, Lif. Thank you. Oh, I could have moved one square up. Oh, well. Oh, I should have moved one square up. Eh, oh, well. Snipe the man! Take that damage! And get like 1% of it back apparently. Should I have held back? Uh, trade, trade secret. Eh! Sniper versus sniper, that's fine. Felix, you're going to just do that. Thank you. You know what? Sure. More heals, more trouble, more anti anticipation. Sylvain, you're just going to do this. Get a javelin for your troubles. Okay. Uh, that's a bad move. And then just smack him up, I guess. Who's next? Yay, Dimitri maxed out Cavalier. That should not be enough for you, because you gotta learn more. Okay, I I don't want to risk the sniper. Yeah, we'll do this now. Oh, for the love of everything, hurt this poor man. This man gotta get hurt. Oh no. I mean, at least the heavy armor knight could survive. Barely. I never, I never think he could survive well. You know what? Just to get really bad experience for my weapons. You're probably thinking, why are you doing this? The answer is, I don't know. Uh, sure. Thanks. <sighs> well, okay, so if you were to take damage, okay, you wouldn't do a whole lot. Wouldn't take a whole lot, rather. So, in that case, let's see if I can waste a turn. By literally doing nothing. Wait, what? How would you... Uh oh. I want to risk it. I should have probably checked the, the calculations, but I didn't want to risk Marianne getting hurt. Something to prove, and yeah, of course Sylvain got the, the good job pat on the back because I made him do a bad. Whoops. 
That was entirely my fault, too, and I feel so dumb. Let's send the Paladin, the one who has, like, the most physical defense against a bunch of sword units. And on top of that, he, I believe, has Swordbreaker. So, of course, he's gonna go, like, bap, bap, bap. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Felix, just, just take it. Just take it. Okay, we're off to our mire, but I want to see if anyone could be properly upgraded. Felix could be put into the trickster. Oh, they have to have the thief class before they become tricksters. I mean, that'd be a good thing for Felix, but I'm not super concerned with that. Uh, do I risk this? It's a 75% shot. I might want to risk this. As everyone else is nowhere near close to getting what they need to get for those. You know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to save this, and we're going to basically do the cheat method. The cheat method. If he doesn't get it, we're going to restart. <laughs> yes, 75% shot to get it. Please, for the love of God, I trained you well enough, didn't I? Yes! Ash is a wyvern water rider! I... Oh, wait. Cry, that might be, that, might be that might be bad for a Meyer, though, because I think there's a lot more mages. <laughs> oh well, we'll change him out if we need him. He cannot use the battalion that he was once given, that's fine. Do I? I mean, I'll, I'll do it like this, because I do want to show off stuff like that. But I'm not going to put him into the thief at all. No, you're not going to put him into it. Yeah, problem with that, you can't do two things at one time, so that's why I'm like, uh. Now granted, this is a DLC class, I might not even bother using it, I just want to show it off, at least for one mission. Do we have another advanced seal? We do not. Okay. Uh, I could make Dimitri into a paladin, that's actually kind of what, kind of what I want to do. Uh... Yeah, you're already that, so you're fine. So, how close are these two? Not that close. 65% for both, I believe. Oh, 66 for Annette. Okay. Well, I might want to go try my luck. And, of course, uh, you can't get anything because I didn't raise you properly for anything. Oh, I kind of wish I gave you the Paladin class. That's fine. Oh, right, because that's the Mage. Uh, if I was to buy the seals, three advanced seals, well, I mean, at this point, I'm going to do something that I might regret, but I'm still going to do it. Sylvain's got this. They got intermediate seals, which aren't advanced seals, I believe. Yeah, we're just gonna sell everything and see if we can get some, uh, stuff from it. Well, that's not what I want. I want... Yeah, so th that's all we need right now. And also, just upgrade everyone's, uh... Upgrade people's, uh... Ah, frick, words! Uh, the... Defenses, there we go. So, we have quite a few supports, actually. So, I think the rest of this video is just going to be dedicated to supports. And also preparing people up for the next uh, battle. So, considering we bought uh, shields, I'm going to give everyone who doesn't have a shield already. I don't have plans for them in the future to give them a shield. Equip a steel shield. You got the accuracy ring, so I don't know if I want that more than anything. You don't have anything, but another. Uh, eh, this is more of a temporary thing for you. Uh, you have the goddess ring, that's fine. And no one. Oh, Marianne, you're part of the main group, so you got the 
last steel shield. Okay, so with that, I think everyone's gonna look decent enough for where they are. Yeah, I would say they look pretty decent. I'm so torn on Sylvain, though. I do want to give him something. You're already fine. You're fine. Everyone else is fine, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so, as I said... Oh, I should also give Ash his uh, new battalion if I have any. Uh, I... Wow, the only flying units in grit? Frick. Well, off to the market to go buy a battalion. Just for uh, Ash here. Uh, give me a hot second. You're not using magic, so yeah, we'll use this. And then we go into battalions, go into Ash, and Ash has an equipment. So we're gonna save, and we're gonna make the rest of this video about support conversations! Yay, support! Sylvain and Felix, or Sylvain uh, yes. and Dimitri max out. Why are you in my room? Sorry, I need to hide in here just for a while. I'll have you know this is all your fault. Hide okay. From who? It's some um, a girl from the academy. I'm sorry. It's a what? This is all because of your insistence that I go and ask a girl out. You didn't give her a dagger, did you? Is that why you're hiding? Does she have a dagger, Dimitri? Look, you kept true to your promise to improve your behavior. So I felt it was only right to make good on my side of the bargain, too. You invited a girl to dinner, and now she's chasing you around. What's the big deal? Unless... Did you use one of my pickup lines? Those words are dangerous in the wrong hands. With you didn't teach them! The line's a line, and I'm joking. But you... Nobody's ever accused you of being funny. I clearly underestimated the difficulty of the task. But what do I do now? Relax, your highness. Relax. I'll sort this whole thing out real easy. All we have to do is figure out how to make this girl lose interest in you. And making girls lose interest is what I'm best at. You just wait right there, and I'll fix everything. I mean, at least he's aware of it. That brought this about. I cannot place this immense burden on your shoulders. This is no job for an amateur. You need a professional's help. Trying to do everything yourself has never served you so well. So just leave this to the master. Even the dagger incident could have been avoided if you had just talked with me beforehand. There wasn't time for consultation. I only learned she was leaving on the day of her departure. Whatever you say. The point is, you need to learn to rely on me for these types of things in the future. For now, I got this. And if I ever need help with something you know how to help with then maybe you can do the same for me Lance work very well when that time comes I promise to help you as best I can the knight of Fargus never goes back on his word isn't that right you're a good man Sylvain I'm sorry to do this to you best of luck please your highness I've spent years honing my skills for just this situation watch and learn how to be a complete sleaze bag? Okay. Well, I mean, to be fair, eh, eh, I really, I wouldn't really call Sylvain a sleaze bag. He's interesting. Well. You don't look busy. Join me for some training, bored prince. And here I thought you had no desire to speak with me. We don't need to speak to clash swords, do we? I suppose nope. not. Is that one new? Wait. Where did you get such a blade? <laughs> I suppose you would recognize its value. I came upon a merchant selling weapons and found this among the rest of the steel. That pattern around the edge. There's no doubt. It was forged by Zoltan, the master swordsmith. I'm there you go. You. Huh? Oh, I'm just happy to have laid eyes on it. I don't suppose you'd allow me the chance to hold it. Do you take me for a fool? I'm not letting a brute like you swing it around. As though I would be careless with something so valuable. 
I recall when you were nine years old, you swung a sword so hard you snapped it clean in two. Ah. Uh. Oh, that was so long ago. I'm hardly the fool I was then. <laughs> so you say. Yet House Fraldaria still told that story for years. Oh, great. <sighs> How pointless. No use talking about someone who's long dead. Looking at your face is making me angry. I'm going to find a different training partner. Farewell, your beastliness. What is going on with him? I got an idea. But it's also, like, yeah, it's not very interesting. And we also did get a sword out of that deal, so I will take that. Oh my god, Felix. You are quite a man. Sylvain, I want to apologize for the other day. The other day? What are you talking about, Felix? Is this a trap? You know, when I called you insatiable. Oh, that? Can't say it didn't hurt, but you have nothing to apologize for. I mean, you've said worse, Felix. Yikes. Considerably worse. Okay, now you're just trying to egg him on. We've known each other since we were kids. We're not going to let your constant verbal abuse get in the way of our friendship, are we? No. Hopefully not. I suppose not. Whenever I started doing something dumb, you'd yell at me. And whenever you drag me into something, Ingrid would find out and start lecturing us. All these years, and not much has changed, has it? But you're different, Felix. You used to be so, I don't know, carefree when we were young. Now you're the exact opposite. Well, you're not any different. Good for nothing then, good for nothing now. Oh, jeez. The abuse. This from the guy who's always been by that good for nothing side. So, did you come to apologize or to insult me? I was on my way to train and I saw you. That's all. You're off to train again? Now who's insatiable? Better than sitting idle like you. A little idleness would do you some good, pal. Aha, uh -huh. little idleness. Did you not see the last battlefield? You have to choose, Felix. Our friendship or your training. My training. Goodbye for now. What did... Is he... Wait, Felix, I'll come train too. Wait up. Oh, he felt tempted. What a good boy. Sylvain, you, you, you are... You are a good man sometimes. Felix, my goodness. I swear you're always training. Such a hard worker. So strong. Uh-huh. Probably not best to flirt with this one, Dorothea. Hello? Felix? What? You can hear me. That's good. I was worried maybe your ears didn't work. What do you want? I second that. Nothing. Nothing in particular, I mean. But now that I'm here, and now that you've asked, when you I realize. Up, her hair, her her earrings have a, a a flower design on them. I don't like sweets. Never noticed that actually. Also, you're a nuisance. Stay away from me. That's not a very nice way to talk to a classmate. Anyway, you sound like you're. You've been in a classmate for less than a month. Shh, shut up. I am not a stray cat, Felix, and I am not leaving until you take a moment to chat with me. I mean, you definitely have a cat's personality. Once again, not to find my or deny my fact of a cat's Thank personality. You. Sweet treat, we can get something spicy. Would you like that? I've heard the dining hall is serving a dish with some western spices in it. Mmm. Does that sound good, Felix? Would you like something spicy instead of sweet? You're distracting me. Yeah. When I am hungry, I will eat alone. Stop squawking at me. <sighs> well, since you asked so nicely, I'll leave you in peace. Goodbye, Felix. Finally. Dorothy doesn't have bad intentions, but she definitely comes off like she does. 
Oh boy, Dorothea. Okay, well, next on the list is Lysidia. Lysidia. Okay. Yes, these are the moments I live for. I don't understand you. Agreed. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? Trust me, I didn't mean to interrupt. So how did you like the cake? I bet you ate it, didn't you? I knew it was irresistible. What was the experience like? I'm curious from a research perspective. Aha, uh -huh, clearly. I, need it. I gave it to some kid. You gave it to some undeserving child? Oh, what if the child was hungry? Like sweets. Cake is not a sweet. Cake is the divine essence of the heavens. I like cake too, but that's a little excessive. Feels like most people's opinions on food, in my opinion. Is no life at all. Your dismissiveness regarding cake is inexcusable. Uh huh. So fixated on this. I simply can't resist the spongy magnificence of cakes. I don't understand how you can be so dismissive. I mean, not all cake is spongy. Weirdly enough. I don't like it. I mean, big, big, big about pie. Probably is pie more. Pie can be savory. You, I don't want it. Can it? But I, mean, I guess it depends on what pie you make. And attention. Love even. Uh, and I went right on the sugar just for you. Uh huh. Quite enough, I bet. If I eat this, will you stop bothering me? More or less. Just don't give it to some silly child this time. Let's get this over. That'd be my approach to the entire uh, cake obsessor. C cake obsessor or just like any kind of obsessor. It's just like, fine, just do it. Take take my blood, do the blood test, just, just hurry up. It's like most of my opinions. Spectacular work, Felix. Why are you here? You're interrupting. Agreed. Uh, my apologies. Actually, mm, not really. You were doing a great job. Just how sharp is that blade of yours, Felix? Do you imagine you might be able to cut something cleanly with it? Probably. Yeah! Oh, Try it! Wonderful! I have a special request for you then. What is it? You want me to cut this firewood? I do. A blade isn't a good I task or a, a, a tool for the task, though. I'll make a sweeping blow to slice them. Sounds like a chore. Unless you're throwing them at him. So surely you can as well. Or perhaps you are worried that you are not capable. What? I am more than capable. Right. Show me what you are made of. Here it comes. <sighs> Doing them one by one is tedious. Just throw them all at once. All of them? If you insist. How many logs were there? And also, how big are the logs? Like, I'm sorry, Flame, but I think your scrawny, scrawny little arms won't be able to hold much. I know. Like Felix at least looks like he has some definition in his arms. In all the land. Now I am intrigued. Next time, let us try an even larger wood pile. Really? Because she is adorable? Yeah. Well, Felix isn't really one for outward looks, to be fair, what it seems like. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, Ash, you're up next. Hey, Sylvain. Can we talk? What's up, Ash? Looking for more life tips? I would hope not. Uh, no. But I did want to thank you for coming to my aid in battle the other day. <laughs> that? No need to thank me for that. No, really, I insist. If you hadn't been there, I definitely would have been finished. You really set a model for my training. I can only hope I'll be able to save someone like that someday. Again with the studying and the training? You're so Just go wherever it feels natural. Highness seem downright easy going. My advice on the whole thing is to just follow your instincts. That's what I do. If someone's in trouble, I help them. You don't need to be a valiant knight to know that. Doesn't matter if the person is an ugly old man or the cutest girl you've ever seen. You help them. So you're saying? Good, good saying, but probably bad implications of that. It's our job to help anyone who needs it. Ah. Oh. 
Oh no. What? You're looking at me funny. Did I say something wrong? No. Not wrong per se. Surprise, that's all. You're actually a much better person than I thought. Was that wow. a compliment? I can't tell. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean any insult. I was just really impressed by what you said about helping people without even thinking. To jump in and help someone without any thought at all of reward. That is real virtue. No, Sylvain has you say that with a other face? alternative How reasons to help people generally. Come on, Ash. You're an honest and overall great guy. You'll be an honest and overall great knight too. That's a good job, class. People like you need to watch out for greedy people, huh? Exactly. Remember when I said I didn't need any thanks? Well, I didn't say anything about not wanting a reward. Yeah, that's There's true. A girl and we we had a misunderstanding about who was allowed to date who. So ah, uh, uh, I need to hang out in your room until everything calms down. Should only be a day. Or two. Tops. Sylvain. I mean, on, I see both sides of this argument. If someone's in trouble, you help them. You want to be a great knight, yeah? yeah. Oh, fine. Since you helped me, but just this once. Well, I mean, right. while he's in there, you might as well have him clean your room Definitely or do something. Study. He really would be a great person. He could just stop all the scandal. I guess some people just like the scandal. Some people like to cause a little bit of mayhem here and there. Granted, I'm not saying Sylvain is in the right by doing that. I'm just saying that, you know, maybe once in a while, a little bit of chaos in unorderly fashion is needed. Mercedes, what's going on? Oh, my eyes. I can barely breathe. Oh, Ash, I'm so glad you're here. My cooking's not going very well at all. That, I couldn't tell. Some of this spice, that seasoning, and the herbs on the top shelf. Then I started frying it in oil. That explains it. <laughs> we use that herb for smoke bombs. Just turn the heat off and cover the pan. Oh no. The people in the dining hall don't look so good. Sorry, I mean... everybody. Could we clear out the dining hall for a few minutes, please? Well, take your food with you. Some folks were a little annoyed, but at least we got the place cleared out. It's a good thing no one mistook all that smoke for an attack. That could have been a disaster. Worse even. Sorry. I always miss everything. Uh, no, it's my fault. I should have taught you which herbs to avoid. True. Blame yourself. But I mean, at the same time, I feel like she should... Like being this? uncomfortable in the kitchen Next should probably have someone to advise her? You still want to try again, even after all that? Of course. If I didn't... That would just be a waste of everything you taught me. I guess that's true. If you quit every time you made a mistake, then you'd never learn anything, right? That's a like Sylvain. And myself, technically. Maybe my mistake was frying the herb in oil. If I had boiled it instead, then there wouldn't be smoke. What do you think, Ash? Mm, it depends on how you boil it. I could still produce smoke. Yeah, that'd be fine. Gonna get this right next time for sure. I guess not the same smoke as oiling it to be fair, but I mean like it would still like concrete oil and not oil bleh, concrete like uh other substances that would could be contributed to uh smoke. It's unusual to find you doing something other than hitting on women. Oh no. Dorothea, I've been preparing to do just that as it were. My intention is to flirt with the monastery's most beautiful flower, Dorothea herself. Oh dear, and I've ruined all your hard work. You might as well save the effort. I'm not taking the bait. <laughs> oh, Dorothea, your wit is as sharp as your beauty. Stop okay. Just a little flirting, just a sample. I'm I mean, like that by itself was a flirt, wasn't it? it? By not like all the others, do you mean how serious you are about being disingenuous when you flirt? And that is supposed to mean what exactly? That you clearly don't feel anything. You just do this in more of a social standing. You could easily be engaged by now. But you just slipped from one woman to the next without settling on anyone. I bet you enjoy going out with them, but you hate women themselves. Don't you think? Me? Hate women? 
That couldn't be further from the truth. Is that true, Sylvain? serious when it comes to matters of the heart. When I flirt, I stake my life on it. Uh huh. I'll believe it when I see it. Staking your life on a person is the sort of thing you should only do when you're in love. Or to no one, because trust issues are a thing. And I'm seriously in love with each and every girl I flirt with. I see. Regardless, I'm not staking my life on you. So you'd better go and fall in love with someone else. Goodbye, Sylvain. <sighs> she's stone cold. I love it. I mean, she's not as stone cold as she's speaking logic, though. Like, that seems typical for you, Sylvain. She did her research and set her part. She was also... <laughs> Let's not talk about that here. Let's talk about that on a different thing altogether. But, I mean, like... Can't blame her for being a little skeptical towards you. <laughs> you know what? We bought these seals. We might as well see what I can get from these. You have a 74%. Come on. Boom, baby. That's what we need right there. Or not what we need, but I want. Good results. Swap class. The dude gets nothing. Sylvain, you get nothing. Uh, I don't necessarily want to do this, but I do at the same time. Come on. Give me some more sugar. Give me some hugs. Give me some love. Hell yeah! And the stat gain. Okay. That defense is nice. The luck and the the resistance, eh. Okay, Net, your turn. You are going to become another mage, because it doesn't matter what you do, or warlock rather. Please don't fail me now. You failed, but that's okay, because I don't need much from you. That sounds really bad when I put it like that, but that's kind of true. I don't need much from her right now. Marianne, you are actually... Da, 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 da. Can I swap you fast? I can. I'll make you into a thief, and you and Felix will share the same uh, trickster job class. It's just what's not to work on for you. I actually passed? I'll take that defense up. The strength, not so much. So, does she just have to be level 20? No, she doesn't have better sword commitment. That's fine. I give her. Also, it's a 75% shot of working, so I'll take that gladly. As for Flane, Flane doesn't really get anything. That's fine. So, we are going to save once more, and I'll see you guys on the next part where we tackle on the Road to Remire. Level 15 recommended. Ugh. Well, I'll see you guys then.